These are the top 17 weirdest product videos of 2024. Watch to the end to see us put a splat possum in a hydraulic press. One of these plates has the most sour cotton candy in the world. Can you guess which one? That's the look of Stan Cotton Candy. Inspired by the famously sour soda, it has a hint of blue raspberry buried in an avalanche of sour. Whoa! Yuck! Honey, I did it again! Freeze! Prank police! What? Lighting dog feces on fire on the front porch is a Class C misdemeanor due to airborne pink eye. I'm gonna have to write you a citation. Here's a more nuanced alternative. You're giving him a candle? What are you, my aunt? Hey, where'd he go? I'm calling your parents! It's a delightful candle. Hey, honey! And the beauty of it all, your victim won't suspect a thing. What a delightful apple scent. Nothing's happening. Can we, like, high-five him with a taser or something? Good pranks take time. Be patient. Come on. Once the candle melts mm -hmm. down, it'll expose its true horrific scent. Double kill. Ice to see you. It's me, Mr. Freeze. Died! Mr. Freeze? <laughs> like in the movies? Hey, I beat you in Arkham Asylum. No, that's the other guy. I do more than just freeze. I dry things beyond belief. Like your precious snacks. Leave our airheads out of this. It's too late. The Ice Age is upon us. As is an equally long dry spell. No! <laughs> Your squishy and stretchy airheads are ruined! Whoa, they're bigger and they're crunchy? I'm into this. You can't be into this. Your treat got all bloody and abnormal. Yeah, it's fun. And tasty. Oh, cool. I could hang out with you guys and try one. We don't really have anywhere for you to sit. Sorry. Uh... That's okay. We could be friends online. What's your game of tag? This football isn't what you think. It's made of chocolate, and we're gonna look at this, plus six other candies that'll trick you. This popsicle won't melt because it's a gummy rocket pop. Patriotic and delicious. No, they're not fries, they're actually sticks of gum. And tasty ones at that. The only olives I like are the ones that are actually chocolate-covered almonds. Gummy Lunchables! Looks like what you trade in the cafeteria, but tastes like fruity gummies. This powder transforms into gum as you chew it, like magic. You're supposed to brush your teeth to fight cavities, but when it's sour toothpaste candy, it kind of defeats the purpose. Not only does the giant chocolate football weigh over a pound, it also has impressive pigskin details and is made in the USA. How many pounds of Crazy Aaron's putty will it take to hold this guy up? Let's give it a rip. One pound. Oh! You see me freaking punch myself? Two pounds. Five pounds of Crazy Aaron's putty. Turns out putty stretches. 10 pounds. 15 pounds of Crazy Aaron's putty. I'm really trying. All 25 pounds of Crazy Aaron's putty. One, two, three. I try my best. Your best wasn't good enough. Crazy Aaron's putty is just too stretchy to hold me. Introducing Crush Boy. All right, Crush Boy, what do you do? Check it. Very neat. What else do you do? Did you miss it? Show him again. Is that it? What, is, is there a problem? No. He gets like this when he's jealous. Jealous? It's not even a power, it's a pen. Oh, because laser eyes is such a cool power? It's an awesome power. Is it though? You don't even have powers. It's a cool pen. Oh, you take that back. What are you gonna do, like write me an angry letter? Boys, calm down. Crush Boy just needs to prove himself. Now who wants to fight some super villains? What do you think? Hundreds injured today as the X-Men failed to stop Magneto. The only silver lining in this tragedy? The introduction of Crush Boy, a star mutant hero that witnesses agree was way cooler than his teammate who, quote, just shot dumb lasers out of his eyes. More on this story as it develops. Hey there, welcome to Painting After Dark. Now those are some happy trees. 
You don't need your hands to make art. Play a wildly unconventional drawing game with scribble hips. With a marker at your pelvis and your canvas, anywhere. From your friends to the most embarrassing spots, players have to identify your art. <laughs> That's a cheeseburger, right? Oh no, it's a car. Yeah, it's a car. We're making our most dangerous gummy ever. This is the gummy fireworm. Each section gets spicier until you reach the ultra spicy Carolina Reaper gummy. It's challenging enough as is, but imagine how crazy it's gonna be when we make it 12 times bigger. The first thing we need is a mold for a giant worm, and I think that the packaging for our giant sour gummy worm is perfect. We've got our pile of gummy fireworms here that we need to divide by spice section. Now we melt each bowl of gummy and pour the sections out one at a time. Okay, moment of truth, it is done and we're gonna take a look. I think it looks awesome. We'll start here. Yeah, definitely spicy. Carolina Reaper, here we go. <coughs> it's immediate heat. This worm's so big that I thought I was taking a nibble, but that was huge. It feels huge because it's so spicy. You should get the regular size gummy fireworm at Vat 19. You can eat this pie in just one bite. Bake teeny treats with the tiny baking kit, a 17 piece cooking set that comes with 20 itty bitty recipes that are as adorable as they are delicious. I made all these famous putties, but can I tell the difference between my own and a knockoff? Oh gosh. Oh, it is hard. Feels a little waxy. This is a knockoff. I would not. Okay, that's generic TheraPutty from Amazon. This feels like a crazy iron tin. Oh, heavy. It has a legal magnet. This feels like one of mine. Strange attractor. Correct. <laughs> Come on, lucky fingers. There is an illegal hazardous neodymium magnet in here. This is fake magnetic putty. I mean, this is not my tin. That is not my putty. This is not a sensory putty. It is definitely too dense. And then the tearing, this is not Crazy Aaron's. That is Crazy Aaron's doodle putty. <sighs> so rare. You had me. The label feels like a newer Crazy Aaron. It's got a UV coating on it. How tricky is VAT 19? Did they take a putty and put it in a different tin? I did not. Oh, I know what it is. Hidden adventure. Think you can beat my time in this puzzle game? Your time? Easy. You've got 30 seconds, go! This is the Genius Square, a fast-paced mental challenge with over 60,000 combinations to solve. Race against the clock to fit the blocks around the pegs or challenge a friend to see who the real genius is. Inside one of these boxes is the world's hottest chocolate bar. The other box has nothing in it. Joey, go ahead and open your box. Do not show Andy what is in your box. Joey, take a look inside your box. Andy, you have the decision. You want to keep your own box, or do you want to swap with Joey? Can you go ahead and look in that again for me? I just want to see your reaction. Yeah, of course. That looks like the face of someone that feels pretty safe. I'm a fan of spice, so I don't care. That's, oh. that's the, the, the problem no, see, you have. No. You're, trying to, you're trying to make me think that the <laughs> spice is in that box. I'm keeping my box. If the chocolate bar is in there, you have to eat it. If it's in Joey's, he's got to eat it. You sure you don't want to swap? <laughs> You can't do this to me this late in the game! <sighs> You're making me self-conscious, but I gotta stick with my gut. Andy, take a look. No! All it takes is one square. Oh, it is immediate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure out what this stress ball is filled with. I have to eat it. Hit me! Oof! Oh, I hope it's sprees. Do they still make sprees? They're, oh wait, what? Is that letters? Is that a J? Are these Tylenol? Jolly Rancher? Uh, Tylenol? J. All right, okay, maybe they're, oh wait, is that a J? No, they're all J. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Is this Jones soda candy? Oh! I love this. I'm taking these home. Ooh. 
This is premium slime. With three unique textures and refreshing smells, slime charmers are the best slime money can buy. Stretch, fold, and roll the charms to create a tactile toy and enjoy a fluid that's always wet but never sticky. What's better for mac and cheese? A spoon or a fork? Let's take it to court. You have one, two, three slots that all of the creamy, cheesy goodness can just seep through, ending up in your bowl and thus ending up in your trash can. The spoon ensures that all the mac is for me. Okay, you're talking about waste. I'm watching noodles just cascading off of your spoon. You know why? Why? Because all you can do is scoop a fork. It can stab and scoop, Andy. Mac and cheese was meant to be consumed with a spoon. And Ben, you might say, I don't have Kraft Mac and Cheese. I have the delicious Kraft Mac and Cheese gummies found at Vat 19. I do, they are delicious. But those were meant for a spoon too. Comments, you be the jury. What's better, fork or spoon? Everybody else is going higher. So we're gonna build the first skyscraper that goes lower. Boulder. I've been watching a lot of Papa Jake recently and I think cardboard is our future. Boulder. Imagine a cat tower but for co-working spaces. Why is nobody bold enough? Oh, what's that? I want that. Sorry, I was just playing with Buildsy while I waited for my turn. It's brilliant, striking yet enticing. What? I, I just love how unstructurally sound it looks, you know? That is the fun of the game. Art is a game, isn't it? What's your inspiration? It was on the card. This blueprint is so vague because you can't contain true imagination on a page. I love it. I mean, it's a really good game, but I don't think it's- I'll give you $400 million to make it right now. The building then immediately collapsed, causing extensive property damage. Witnesses agreed it was bold. Bat 19. Dot com.